Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, showing you a little setup I have in my trunk of my car right now. Um, so this video is about how to charge batteries from your car. Now, now at first when I first uh, started flying my quad, I would uh, charge the batteries at home and then, you know, just bring them with me wherever I went. And I only had three batteries. So um, however long of flight time I got, then that's pretty much how long I would fly. Uh, but then I tried out this uh, little adapter here. This is a cigarette lighter adapter. I got this adapter from uh, Radio Shack. And then I just got some extra wire and I got this coaxial adapter also from Radio Shack. And then I made this plug. So this plug right here fits inside my IMAX V6 charger right there. Okay, so that that worked out for a little while, um, and um, you know you don't re you really don't want to make this wire too long because of the resistance, and and you know just depending on your car, the wiring going to your cigarette lighter adapter inside your car may or may not be able to support the current, but um, it worked out okay for me. So then um, I wanted to charge my batteries without having the car on because in order to use this my specific car the car had to be on the, the ignition the key had to be turned over um, so I have these other wires going into my trunk the negative and positive connecting to the battery under my hood and I had these wires in my car for since I bought this car actually somebody uh, the previous owner had like a subwoofer and amplifier set up in there and I took it out because I wanted the room and so I hooked it up to this thousand watt power inverter just like that I just put these um, these connectors on the end right here and and then so the other side right here has has two power outlets so if you're from another country then then it may not look like this but something like that okay and then I have a computer power supply so I didn't really have to do this but in order for me to charge this in my house I had to I had to have some other kind of power supply so so that's why I have this in here I could hook this charger directly to the battery directly to those cables but this is just how I have it set up here you know it's nice and safe um, I don't have to worry about the, the wires touching each other or anything and um, so you basically just turn the switch on okay and then there's another switch right here okay and uh, so so there may be some write-ups on the internet on how to do this. So this is just an extra power supply that somebody gave me and um, they didn't need it anymore. So I opened it up, I cut off a lot of the wires and I, I just covered it with uh, some shrink tubing. And, and then I put this connector on here, this is the XT60 uh, connector. And then this is... Uh, just another cable that I had which fits nicely into this and and then it works pretty good I uh, can't really complain about it and then over here I have a uh, this custom splitter that I have that I made myself to charge um, all three batteries at the same time so this this charger is supposed to be rated at 5 amps um, for some reason it doesn't do 5 amps only does 4.3 because this is this is not the genuine IMAX B6 charger. This is a copy. So I recommend you not even get this charger anyway. Get something you know more powerful. If you're going to charge multiple batteries at the same time, get something that's um, you know. There's another charger I want to get. It's uh, I think it's AccuCell. Uh, it'll do 10 amps, or or maybe it's a Hobby King brand charger. I don't know. But so yeah, I'm, I need to get another charger. So that's pretty much how I have it set up in my trunk. Uh, for charging my batteries on the go, I can drive and charge, or you know, I could, I could, I could uh, 
use one battery you know come in here plug that in and then i still have these other two uh to fly and then once these are dead i can i can just take this battery and that's already ch done charging and um you know good to go let me know if you have any questions uh don't forget to like comment and subscribe and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one